Well, how do that, chums? To I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got a tale of the strange for you guys and the view of us. So, yeah, let's get strapped in, because here we go. So, this tale is about Brian McClary and his chums. They set out March 26th of 1962 on their inflatable rabbit dingy, going over to the, the wreckage of the Massachusetts, a shunken shipwreck from the war era. So, yes, they've done this a fair few times. So they took a dive into the sea, skin diving. They didn't have no oxygen tanks or anything like that with them. And they went down to this majestic shipwreck, like they've done countless times, encountering lovely different sh fishes and groupers and all sorts of other stuff that they usually come across with inside of the Pensacola Bay of Florida. And once they had finished, they head on back to their rubber dinghy. But things took a turn for the worst. A storm rolled in with loads of fog and they couldn't really see what they were doing. They could see a boy in the distance that they sort of slowly made their way to. However, they, they decided to swim for shore, of all things, and they heard some sort of weird hissing noise from inside of the sea and a, a horrible, dreadful smell of rotting fish. And they saw a sea monster, people. They saw a freaking sea monster! And they headed towards this boy because that's the only thing they could really see amongst all the fog. And on the way there, screams from the actual crowd of the lads, I mean, there's about six of them, one by one, took it in turns to scream out that something had got them and then they disappeared below the waves. Anyway, Brian McCleary, um, he... He reports seeing this giant sort of sea creature. I've put some images to the side there, people, that you can take a quick look at. But he was found with inside of the morning by the Coast Guard. They actually landed a helicopter by him and picked him up and took him back to the station and questioned him exactly what had happened to him and his friends. Now, he'd done a drawing while he was inside of this police interview, and his story never changed, even to his dying day, because he's actually now passed away, sadly, people, and God rest his soul, and all that sort of shenanigans. But yes, the drawing he drew of that actual creature looks very much like a plesiosaur, and that's his actual drawing there, people. Now, do you feel this story is real? Or is it fake, people inside of the view of us? Heck yes, I'll give you a little bit of time to go and stick up all your polls and all that sort of shenanigans. Hopefully this is a premiere and you can do that. Now, myself, people, I'm in two minds of this one. I mean, all of them were very good swimmers. Very good swimmers, and they'd gone out to this area of the sea before countless times. This story has never changed. But then, you know, what would have happened otherwise? I mean... It's a strange old tale, isn't it, people? I'm about 50-50 on this one. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, isn't it? To think, 50-50, did they actually get attacked by a giant freaking sea creature? Did Nessie manage to muller them? That's where I'm going with this, people. That's what I'm saying. It's a bit of an odd one. Do your own research on this one, people. I'll put links inside the video description so you can read this story in full. But I'm going to go... I'm going to go... True. I'm going to go true. True on this one, people. I'm going to, I'm going to hit up true. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, until next time, people. I hope you enjoyed this little tale of the strange. Until next time, cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.